Are you thinking about doing a chop and flip aquaponics system with an IBC? Stop. Before you do anything, watch this video because there's something important that you need to know about to make sure that your aquaponics system will be successful. It's all about your filtration and it's something that people commonly miss when it comes to their IBC chop and flip. So watch this. Okay, so this is a normal chop and flip system. Well, actually it's not, but it is, if that makes sense to you. So we've got the fish tank at the bottom and the grow bed up the top, but I have it sitting, I've actually built the frame and it's a really sturdy frame and it's fully insulated. It's got 10 centimeters of insulation between the color bond and the tank. And it's also got plastic protector to stop it from getting wet. But I've built the frame because I know that the weight of the grow bed can crumple these IBC um, frames. As soon as you cut the frames and start modifying them in some way, they start to lose structural integrity. And it doesn't always happen, but it can happen. And the last thing I want is for that grow bed to go crumbling down and killing all my fish. Just saying, I have silver perch and eeltail catfish in there that you won't be able to see. But I do have a fish window at the back that I'll be able to show you that looks really awesome. But here's the thing, I've done a few things a little bit different to most people with an IBC chop and flip system. So you'll see the bracings on the frame, it's a really, really sturdy frame. I have two pumps in here. This is my main pump, water pump, and this is a backup water pump that's down here. So if the power goes out, that pump's gonna kick in and the system's gonna keep running. So what people often don't do that, they'll just have the air stone. But what if the power goes out for six hours? You're gonna have fish swimming in all of their ammonia, and yeah, they'll have oxygen, but they'll be sitting in that ammonia, and potentially nitrite, and that could kill them. So for me, I want the system, during a power out, to keep running. So I have the backup water pump that I test every month, and it goes in. The other day Check out the description to find some more information about aquaponics and how you can move forward and get this happening. The difference I have is that black drum at the back. That is a solid waste filter. So I remove all of the solid waste. It's picked up by the pumps, taken up into that black filter, and I just have some shade cloth and some polyester wadding in there. Cleans the water, and if we move through here, we can see water is flowing there somewhere. Now, I've got... <laughs> The, the tomatoes that look like they're dying, they are dying because they are determinate varieties. So that means they will grow, flower, um, fruit, and then die off all very, very quickly. Because I was trying to get one last crop in before the season ends. So that's why they're dying off, but you can see getting ripe and doing nothing. And there's actually heaps and heaps of tomatoes on here. Also some basil and other stuff. Um, so yeah, the water goes into the grow bed and then we can see it dropping down straight down here. The other thing that I've done different, I've put in a water flowing, I don't even know what you want to call it, but an aeration type of bar here. Valve, PVC pipe and some holes that are drilled in there. So this means that on really hot days, this whole aquaponics system is in the sun and I'm talking really hot, 30 plus degrees Celsius sun for more than seven hours. So it gets really, really hot. That's why the insulation and everything like that. And I haven't finished uh, putting the cosmetic stuff on yet. Um, but because it gets so hot, or potentially can get so hot, when the water heats up, you have less oxygen available for your fish and for your plants. So by adding that bar across there, I'm adding extra aeration into the aquaponic system, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, I've been measuring the temperatures and comparing <laughs> to other things that have water out here and the same amount of sun, and this is at least 10 degrees cooler, which is absolutely fantastic. That's what I'm really worried about is the temperature and the heat, and I've got to turn it around. It looks much better turned around, but I pop that on top there, and it provides that extra bit of shade. So it gets really, really hot. Now, the fish need oxygen, 
But in a chop and flip system, more often than not, it's a constant flow system, meaning the water does not flood up, drain down, flood up, drain down. That is not this type of system. If you do that, the water level in your fish tank drops down, rises up, drops down, rises up, which also means less fish availability and a bit of stress for the fish. I'm not a fan of that, so I run constant flow. And yeah, you can see lots and lots of plants growing and everything's doing super well. 